Mr. Clark, I'd ask you to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Have the familiar under MGL chapter 30A, section 20F. This meeting is being recorded. Uh, we have a very short agenda tonight, but an item that's extraordinarily important for the citizens of Westport. And I thank all of you for being here tonight. The other than this topic's not reasonably anticipated, which is something we have to do by the open meeting law. The appointment of the chief of police, the next chief of police, is the only item on the agenda this evening. Now, we're not taking any public comment. The Board of Selectmen will deliberate, and then they'll then call for a vote. But we need to discuss a couple of things in advance. So I think uh, as I look at this, I have to make a couple of recommendations here or piece, uh, items of information. Whatever we do, it, it has to be understood that the chief, present chief of police, uh, Keith Pelletier, he has sent a letter of resignation, but for whatever reason, the select board hasn't acted on that yet. Now, obviously, we expect to do that. So I just have to caveat this, that any motions we make or whatever have to say, pending the acceptance by the board of selectmen of the letter of resignation of Chief Keith Pelletier. And uh, I don't think that's going to get in the way of anything tonight, but I just wanted to state that. Now, I would say to, to the selectmen now, in terms of our deliberation, we're all here. Thank you for that. And um, my view on this would be to simply have a, what I call a straight up vote, a show of hands for candidate A, show of hands, candidate B, show of hands. So we know how we voted. It's clean. I think it's the most transparent way to go. Um, it's allowed for Robert's Rules of Order, of course. Uh, there are other methods of voting that are not permissible here tonight, one of which is uh, a, a secret ballot. That's under the open meeting law, that is not allowed. The open meeting law has at, as its roots transparency, that public bodies, which we are, deliberate in the open. We can't have deliberation separately uh, with more than a uh, majority of the board. So that's something we live with. It's part of the trade-off of the open meeting law. Personally, I support that. I think it's good. But anyway, I just pointed out to you tonight. And that's why we're here. And some people might find that it's awkward to do this selection process in open session, but that's, that's the law, and we follow the law. We take an oath for, to that effect. And I think you all know that and appreciate that. So I'm asking the, the, the Board of Selectmen members uh, if you agree with my approach to this, there may be another approach to make a motion. Uh, what is the sentiment of the committee in this regard? I'm fine with it. Oh, we want to do it, fine. Yeah. I agree with you. Okay. Then. then what I will do is, uh, starting with uh, one candidate, I'm going to go just as the uh, posting says, appointment of police chief and the candidates are in alphabetical order, Detective Sergeant Christopher Dunn and then Sergeant Robert Rebello. And if anybody... If it's comfortable with that, then we'll just do it in that order. I don't think the order makes much difference. Um, I hope it does, but anyway. But anyway, then I would say, just for f so that everybody understands, I would say all those in favor of supporting candidate A to the position of chief of police effective January 7th, 2024, pending the uh, acceptance of the letter of resignation of Chief Keith Pelletier, please raise your hand. Then I will pause and count the vote. Then I will say, all those in favor of appointing candidate B to the position of chief of police, et cetera, et cetera. Please raise your hand. And there, it's clean, it's clear, it's transparent, and everybody knows who voted for who and what the outcome is. I don't, I haven't come up with a simpler way to do that that's clear and understandable. So anyway, since that is the preference of the committee, I will proceed. I would ask all those in favor Mr. of appoint. Chair, yes. could, would it be OK 
okay if we just talked about how we got to this oh, point? Because I'm we, sorry. Did, we, yep. we had interviews. Can, can we just talk about the yeah, process? That's that fine. Followed? The discussion Thank among the, the board is uh, permissible. Go ahead. So, um, just so everybody who's tuning in right now, um, we appointed several, I don't even know when, but we appointed a committee um, to do screening of applicants. So, we posted internally first with a job description. We reworked the job description a little bit with Chief Pelletier. We, had, we appointed a committee. Um, that interviewed the candidates. That was an extensive interview. It was not a, held in an open meeting, so it was a little bit more candid, a little bit more interview-like than you might have seen later on in the public meeting. So after that um, search committee met, they, um, we had two candidates. They were both internal candidates. The search committee met. They sent us a letter uh, recommending both candidates. So they didn't down select, they recommended that both were qualified and that the select board should evaluate both candidates. Last Monday, um, we interviewed each of the candidates in an open meeting. We asked not exactly the same questions, but we, we did interview both of the candidates in an open meeting um, where we uh, were able to elicit more information from them. What you might not have seen is that we also got resumes from each of them and statements from um, about their vision uh, for the department. So that was used. We have some extensive paperwork that was done. Um, both candidates submitted to us a list of their accomplishments, the things that they have done in their career. So we have resumes from, for both of them. We have vision statements from both of them. So I, I think tonight's conversation might be a little abbreviated. But I just wanted to put it out there that this has been a process that we've gone through. It isn't just, you know, candidate A or B tonight. It's been through a format. And I know, uh, Manny, you were on the committee, so I don't know if you want to add anything else to that. Um, yes, uh, I agree with everything you said. However, this, this, was a very, this is going to be a very tough decision. We have two excellent candidates. Um, I was just recently involved in the fire chief which was a very easy mm -hmm. decision. I don't think the town can lose one way or another with these two candidates that we have right now. And I was involved in the whole process. You know, um, I would just hope that we can um, keep some solidarity in the department and just whoever does become chief can continue the efforts of the present chief in that whole department. Vote. Thank you, Minnie. And, and did you want to go straight to the vote on the ARB, or did you want to have some discussion first? Like, it's totally up to the select board. All right. Well, I, I, I would like to echo uh, my colleague, Mr. Soares, here, because it really, I, I, I think we are, it, the conundrum is we have two very well-qualified candidates in front of us, and um, they both have some things that are very similar. They both have some things that make them very unique. And so I know it was a difficult decision for me um, personally, because I think we can't go wrong either way. So, um, whomever it is, however it is that we go that um, gets the chief position tonight, I know that we still really benefit and value from the other person on the force. And it's a kind of a good problem to have, but I'm really grateful that we, that we have this opportunity. I know somebody's going to be disappointed, um, but I hope they'll continue to work really hard um, like they've been doing in their whole career here at Westport. I second that, and I also add my comments again to praise the screening committee who did, who did an excellent job. I mentioned it at the last meeting, and some of the membership is here tonight, including uh, Selectman Soares. Are there any other comments before we vote? Okay, now we'll get on with it. So, all those in favor of appointing Detective Sergeant Christopher Dunn to the position of Chief of Police effective January 7, 2024, Pending the acceptance of the letter of resignation of Chief Keith Pelletier by the select board, please raise your hand. I count three. Will all those in favor of appointing Sergeant Robert Ribello to the position of Chief of Police effective January 7, 2024, pending the acceptance of the letter of resignation of Chief Keith Pelletier by the select board, please raise your hand. I affirm that the vote is three in favor of Detective Sergeant Christopher Dunn and two for Sergeant Robert Rebello. Is that correct? 
to meet the pleasure of the committee. And therefore, I would like to thank you for the vote, thank the candidates for being here, congratulate uh, Detective Sergeant Christopher Dunn, and also thank Robert Rebello. You put your best foot forward, you are excellent candidates, and I hope you both have bright futures in, in the town of Westport Police Department. If that concludes that item, the only other question will be topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. I assume we have none? We have none. And I would entertain a mo motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 The meeting is adjourned. Thank you.